Greetings, this is Monica Smith from Atlanta's House of Henna coming to you from Stonecrest Mall. Today I want to take you on a kiosk tour. There's lots of uh, YouTubes out there on boutique tours, so I'm going to take you on a kiosk tour. This is what our booth looks like when we're all set up. We are located in Stonecrest Mall, lower level, right in front of JCPenney's. Let's first look at our products that we sell. We sell handcrafted jewelry. This beautiful bib over here, this is made in Tibet. And then we have the Falani earrings made by the Falani tribe in Mali. We have faux gauges. So you can have the look of your ear being gauged, but, but no pain. We have our flash tats here. These are African and Dinkra inspired flash tats and you can only get those at atlhenna.com and other retailers that we sell them in so those are quite beautiful and unique next we have facial stickers these are good for um, carnival mardi gras we've got coloring books henna inspired and then let's go to the front side we have mugs with our logo we've got I do henna pin we've got earrings we have faux gate not faux gauges but faux septums that you put in your nose so just as a few selection of the jewelry that we sell we've got hair henna we also sell kits if people want to do their own we've got yagua we've got children henna we've got the white then we have these hand painted earrings by yes lioness these are hand painted on wood these are my favorite earrings so you can also purchase those so that's about it for our product selection so when clients walk up to our booth they'll first go to our book they will pick out their particular designs the prices are up there at the top they'll sit down here we have a chair that is heated and it also has a massage so they can get really comfortable there then once they sit down we use these boards these henna boards with our logo we put that on their lap and we use that as our table we do not use the pillow we put the pillow under the board but i see some henna artists use a pillow um you really can't clean the pillow and sanitize it like you really want to. So the boards are easier. You can clean them, you can spray them with Lysol and so forth. This area right here is where the henna artist works from. This is where we have all our uh, materials, our Metro Color, our henna glam, our water, our glitter, our um, stencils our henna, the yagua, and, and all the brushes that we need. Um, this area right here, down here, that's where we keep our, our gems, if people want some gems on their henna. Clean needles, our tape, our alcohol, everything is close at hand for the henna artist to, artist to use. Then after we're done doing the design, we take them over to the blow dryer, which is up top and we turn that on they sit down there place their hand under the blow dryer while they're blowing their hand dry um, they can look at our social media they can connect with us on Facebook snapchat and Instagram so this sign has our social media handles on it and common hashtags that we use so they can sit there and fiddle with their phone um, next, we have uh, two bins for our aftercare uh, instructions and, of course, our tip jar. Okay, so next we have these drawers that are at the bottom of the kiosk. Inside these drawers, that's where I keep all my supplies, my paper towels, my alcohol, flyers, um, brochures. So anything supply needed is under there. Also, there's a drawer on the other side, and there's a tarp in that side. That tarp is used to cover the whole kiosk at nighttime. Then, on the front of the kiosk, we have our bags. 
And then sometimes people will get tattoos on their neck and we have a drawer with little ties so we can tie up people's hair if their hair is getting in the way. Then we have our cash register, which is the clover, which I love and highly recommend. I love that. And of course you wanna upsell. So we've got some shea butter, we've got some balm and some aftercare oil. We also have these warning cards for people who um, are asking about black henna. So we don't do black henna uh, because it contains PPD and we always give out those cards to let people know the dangers of using black henna. Okay, so on the other side of the booth, this is where we keep our printer. We're gonna start um, doing uh, stencil work too. So we'll have um, this printer, it'll be hooked up uh, where you can print off your cell phone and then we'll run it through the stencil machine. We do sell fresh henna, so we have to keep it in the freezer. So we have a freezer up here. This is where we keep our yagua, our henna, our sealant, and all of that stuff for our clients. So I wanted our clients to kind of get a feel of what um, the artwork would look like on their body. So I bought these body forms and I've kind of put henna, glitter to kind of show them what it looks like. This is our henna glam, that's the henna. And so these legs are really an eye catcher. So we do have the kiosk set up to where we have two henna artists working. So everything that is on one side, it's on the other side. We have like two blow dryers. Um, we set up chairs on both sides when it's busy. So that's basically it for a kiosk tour. I hope you liked it. A lot of my ideas I got um, from the shop that we have already and I just kind of transferred it over to a kiosk feel. We have to be open every day that the mall is open. So that's like from 10 in the morning till nine o'clock at night. We have a group of five henna artists that work the shop and come and see us if you are in Lithonia, we're in the Stonecrest Mall. to leave out the back way so this concludes our kiosk tour i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like my video and subscribe all right i'm about to find my car real quick